Okay, welcome to RuneScape Bar News. I am your host, RuneScape Bar, or Jeffrey D, as that's my actual name. Now then, today I'm doing a news reel, I guess you call it. Um, these news videos will consist of news on anime and manga, gaming news, real-world events in America, and news on movies and TV shows. Now to start off. This is a report from Ben Silverman of Game Editors on Yahoo.com. He states that E3, Nintendo, will start making interactive Ambio action figures. Now, those are basically like your UB Funkies and your uh, Skylanders. You put them on a platform and they show, transport to the game. Now then, um, Silverman also states that these Ambios will work for a variety of Nintendo games. But there is no date that I could find of that they said that when Nintendo will release these new Ambios. Now then, the first ones that I remember were the UB Funkies. So I still have them, and if it still worked, I'd be doing YouTube reviews on them. Now then, in YouTube news, PSY Gundam Style has reached not one, but two million views. That is historical for YouTube and historical for uh, K-pop or whatever they call it in Korea. Now then, PSR released a statement that he was honored to have this happen to him and that he will be coming back with more content. Okay, now then for a little bit longer one, in anime news, Sigal Moon has finally returned to America. I am very happy. However, not dubbed, it's subbed. Uh, let's see, you can watch the first ten episodes, plus two new ones every Monday, subbed, on viz.com. Also, there's a new series for Sailor Moon called Sailor Moon Crystal. I sadly could not find out when I could, when they will release it, or if they will release it in America. But as a true otaku and a true Sailor Moon fan, I just can't wait. And this ain't you no know, fake smile, I can't wait. Okay, in local news, now, this one is sad. These two local news ones are very, very sad. Uh, I just wanted to give my dearest condolences to the families. And, yeah, and t two 12-year-old girls were accused t of luring a friend into the woods and stabbing her 19 times to please the fictional internet cre horror creature, Slenderman. Now, you got to be pretty messed up to believe that Slender Man is real. Now, I know that a lot of these posts people make on, like, Google Plus or Facebook or on YouTube make him seem that he's real, but he's not, okay? He ain't. Okay. Now, they went to court on Wednesday for a scheduled hearing, according to the prosecutors, on May 31st, after a sleepover with their classmates, friend, where and guys, or I don't know if I said their names right, lured her into the woods and stabbed her 19 times with the kitchen knife, according to the criminal complaint. The girls told investigators they stabbed her to impress Slender Man, a tall, creepy, fictional boogeyman. The insisted was real. The complaint said, Ware told detectives that she thought she would be able to go live with Slender Man if she killed someone. Once again, you gotta be crazy. Uh, basically, uh, they could be incinerated for, to age 25, they are convicted as juveniles under Wisconsin law, or 60 years if they are tried as adult for murder. Now then, they are 12-year-old girls, but the fact they even say that they planned this for weeks, that's when you know they're truly messed up, because they ha during those weeks, they could have said, no, he ain't real, we're not going to do this, so... I truly believe that they need to go to jail for a very long time and a mental institute. And like I said, here's a second sad one. In other local news, a gunman walked into an Oregon uh, high school gym with a rifle and shot some students up to death on Tuesday before he was found dead in the bathroom stall. This is the third outbreak of gun violence to shake the U.S. high school or college campus in less than three weeks. Now, the first Americans, if you remember a couple of months ago, it was uh, the Fort in DeSoto, or not DeSoto, uh, I think it was Fort DeSoto of Texas. Can't remember, but uh, apparently there was a gunman on there on one of the biggest military bases in America, so that was a pretty big deal. 
I feel sorry. I I hope that um, justice will be brought, and that they that the families. I really feel sorry for. I'm trying to express this, uh, but I really do feel sorry for the families of the students who were lost and the soldiers who were lost during those two shootings and any other school shootings that I have not heard about on the news. But I do give my dearest sorry. I feel sorry for you guys. I can't express this enough. I don't. I know how it feels to lose a loved one, but not like that. And I hope I never will. Uh, authorities have now released the names of the gunmen. So it's still unknown who the gunman was. Knowing the news, they were going to find out. So tune into your local news channel, and you'll probably see an end, and you'll hear about it. I am RuneScapeR, or Jeffrey D, signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the last two ones were really sad, but, um... If you want me to continue doing these news things, uh, let me know. Please like the video, tell me in the comments if you want me to cover something else. Or if you want me to do just more video game reviews, let me know in, in the comments below. Also, please follow me on Google Plus for updates and follow me on the 90s club. You'll know it's my club when you see the picture of Wishbone. And as always, have a nice day, and live, love, and game on. Have a nice day, America.